I take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise from this day forward to be grateful for our love, our life, to be generous with our time, my energy and my affection, to be patient with you and myself. These things I pledge before you, our friends and our family. I promise to love you without reservation, comfort you in times of distress, encourage you to achieve all of your goals, laugh with you and cry with you, grow with you in mind and spirit, always be open and honest with you and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Benvenuti, sono Maria Letizia Romano, ufficiale di Stato Civile del Comune di Malcesine. Vi ringrazio per aver scelto per questo giorno così speciale il nostro castello. Spero che diventi simbolo del vostro amore. Sono contenta ed emozionata di essere qui insieme a voi oggi. Uh, in a world where we're all constantly preoccupied with our jobs, responsibilities, worries and bills, today is one of those rare days where we can all relax and take a moment to realise that today will always be one of the very best days of our and their lives. There are many, many people, and this room is full of them, who would honestly say that Brian Gorman is one of their best friends in this world, and we are better people because of you, Brian. <laughs> Jennifer McCann, this is now your husband. Jennifer, stunningly beautiful, hardworking, and so very strong and independent. Jennifer has a strength of character I rarely see in my life. When she decides she wants something, nothing will stand in her way, and I was very impressed with her from day one. <laughs> if it wasn't for her, I'm pretty sure Brian would be living a quiet life in the cabin in the woods, <laughs> living on bread, beans, and banter. <laughs> Instead, we see the legend that sits before us today. Brian always had a, a thing for Jen. In fact, one of her nights, late nights out in the bog, he came to chat anyway, and years ago, he says, hey, Jesus, Paddy, I met the one for me last night. He says, hey, what about Jennifer? <laughs> what did you have to say for that? <laughs> but anyway, ah, <laughs> uh, well, Jen, in his own words, that you were the girl that held a piece of his heart from the first time he kissed in school. And he told me, I will marry her one day, and lo and behold, here we all are. Sit there while I tell you just how beautiful you look tonight As if you haven't heard me say it all a hundred times You shake your head and look away I promise that I've tried my hardest to let go of this But every time I think about a world without you in it My life becomes a darker shade of grey Oh, as the year went by or whatever, and I said to Jen one day, do you know, Brian's a lovely fella. You shouldn't let him go. Oh, she said, no, Brian's the one. <laughs> and I kept thinking, I kept thinking, geez, I hope Brian feels the same way, though. <laughs> you know, geez, I hope he feels the same way. So anyway, they were going off on a holiday, and Brian arrived up the evening before they went, and he asked for Jen's hand in marriage. And we were so over the moon and so delighted. I 
Io, Maria Letizia Romano, ufficiale dello Stato Civile del Comune di Macetine, dichiaro in nome della legge che il signor Brian Martin Gorman e la signora Jennifer Mary McCann sono uniti in matrimonio. I wish them every bit of joy and happiness, but most of all, health. So long as they have that for the rest of their lives, everything else will fall into place. And never go sleep on, on a row. Of course, Brian has somewhere to run anyway. He has that, he has that lovely cabin in the woods. There are so many things I have to thank you for, but most importantly, thank you for choosing me. Wow. I thought it was nice myself, actually. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. <laughs> Ever since I first laid eyes on you all those years ago, I knew we were meant to be. I love you more than you will ever know, and I look forward to do, doing all I can to show you. I knew your presence was where I would feel most at home. Here's to a bright future together, and everyone, if you could please raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Jennifer, the Queen McCann. <laughs> Brian and I have been together for eight years now, but met each other as teenagers in school for the first time. I turned him down when he asked me to go out with him when we were in school, and little did I know at that time that he was going to become my husband someday. <laughs> Brian, you have the patience of a saint, but let's face it, so do I. <laughs> we are the complete opposites of each other, but we balance each other out well. I'm the organiser and the planner, and you are the spontaneous one and the dreamer. We make a pretty good team, and I look forward to our new adventure as husband if and wife. My only regret is that I didn't say yes to you when we were teenagers. So I could have loved you longer. In dreams and love are possibilities, baby, and I love you with all my heart. Eat, drink and be merry and dance your little hearts out for the night. You're all beautiful people and mean the world to me and Brian. Let's show them how the Irish do it. Yeah. Yeah.